Hi everybody, this is Vance Brigstrom with a new tutorial. I'm going to show you today uh, how to make a Allen head screw with a uh, like a pan or a rounded head, which is really kind of hard to model when you're transitioning from like a hard shape like a, a hexagon that's on top of the bolt uh, to a round curve shape. I'm going to show you how to do that with uh, subdivision modeling. And a little trick I came up with is pretty quick. So let's go. Um, this should work in Max 2013 and 2012. I don't know about anything before that, so you'll have to just give it a try. Okay. Anyway, so to start with this, uh, we'll start out with the hex insert where the Allen key goes into. So we'll go over to the Shapes uh, tab, and we'll click on End Gone, and from there we'll click on Six Sides down here because, well, hexagon six-sided and we'll go ahead and go over to the top display and we'll we'll just draw that out to a reasonable size we'll just say like that all right we'll come over here and we'll uh, right click on it and we'll convert it to edible poly so we can do poly modeling just like that and we'll see if we get a shape now I hit F4 and we can get we can see the lines in fact, I think I'm going to hit, uh, if you hit the J key and get rid of the stupid bracket, so we'll do that. All right. So let's give it uh, a little bit of depth now. And uh, select the border in your Edit Poly Tools. We'll click on that and we'll get the whole border. Now we can go ahead and just shift and drag it up until we get like a reasonable depth, or something like that. Looks pretty good. Kind of look inside, looks, looks the way we want it to look. All right. Now, to show you, we're going to throw a Turbo Smooth modifier on there just to show you what's going to happen here. Because we're going to have to transition from this hard shape to a curved shape. So we'll throw a Turbo Smooth, and obviously it turns into a circle. Can't have that. So let's turn it off again, go back to Edible Poly Mode. What we need to do is add some hard edges to this. And, uh, one of the quickest way to do that is um, what we can do is select on edge mode. We'll select an edge and you can click on ring and, and that way it will get to select all those in that ring. Or another way to do it is click on one and then click on shift on the next one and it does the same same effect. Real nice little trick. Okay now that we have that what we need to add is an edge loop on these corners so when we hit the sub the turbo smooth modifier it makes the edge sharp otherwise it will interpolate a curve between these two points and that's why we get that circular shape so let's uh let's hit chamfer mode right down here and it kind of already is selected we want to have it set for two so we, so we have the original line and then the hard edge on each side is fine the way i like to do it and make it a good distance somewhat like that should be fine and hit check okay I'll turn this off again now when we hit turbo smooth we get hard edges boom 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 but we still get a curve on the bottom because we don't have any edges there so let's add that as well all right so a nice little trick to do is if you go into the graphite modeling tools and you can drag this down there's a little button right here you can close it to you got to drop down or open it to full. I, I like it open full so it's easier to see things. Anyway, so if you go to Graphite Tools and then click on Swift Loop, which makes these things really easy to do to do, we're going to add a loop. We're going to go down to the edge here, add a loop. The, matter of fact, let me go large screen so you can see a little bit better. There we go. We'll add a loop. We'll go back to Swift Loop. Just like that. We'll add one at the bottom so we'll have a sharp edge here on that transition. And we'll go here, boom. Now when we hit Turbo Smooth, look at that nice sharp, sharp edges everywhere. And we'll still be able to do some curves, and that's what we want to do. All right, so let's turn that back off again. I go to poly mode. Okay, now we want to transition from the insert for the Allen key into the kind of the curved bolt head. So let's do that right now. So we'll click on uh, border. We go right there. So we selected the very edge border. All right, and 
it switch to scale and then we'll just shift and then scale out just like that and try that out now you see we switch to turbo mo smooth mode okay we get this nice still hard edges but it's not round we, we obviously would want round round would be better so I'll go back to poly mode and see the reason why we have sharp edges is because we have these edge loops that are close together. Whenever you have close edge loops, you get uh, sharp edges here, here, and here. So we need to spread these guys out a little bit. All right, I'm going to show you a little trick for that uh, to spread these out. Now I go ahead and click on the edge. Sorry, here, click on the edge right there. Click on these two edges. Let me zoom in. Click on those two. on those two. I'm doing this manually. There's an easier way to do it too. You could select similar mode in the poly tools, but in case you don't want to do that, you can just do it the old-fashioned way. Select this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Alright, so now we have all these uh, edges selected here on the corners. Well, our goal is, is to make these even space, or at least as close as we can get. That way we don't have these tight edge loops on these corners to make it uh, kind of a sharp edge. We, we want a rounded circular edge as much as possible. So now that we got those selected, we'll just let, hit scale. And you can see if we pull this out, we can go ahead and spread these out just like that, just like magic. And just you just want to get roughly to where they're the spaces on all these polygons are roughly equidistant. You don't have to get exact, just get rough. Let's we'll just say like that, okay. There we go. Well, kind of a circle. It's almost circular, but not quite. Well, let's see what it looks like in turbo mode, turbo smooth mode. So go to turbo smooth. Let's go two iterations so you can do better. Okay, and while it's rounded, it's still kind of like a soft curved hexagon shape, which we don't want. So the best way to get make this perfectly circle there's a little trick in the poly tools. We're going to do select uh, border mode. We'll click on the, like I said, the entire border here. Select this whole border. All right. And then you go and click on edge mode in the graphite tools. And you move over here to the right. And let's see, where is it at? And you go to the loops mode right here and hit the down tab and we get more of selection here. Now they're going to loop tools right here. Click on loop tools. This is a nice little trick. Curvature set setting, you can just hit circle and it turns that loop into a perfect circle. Boom, we're done. So now when we hit turbo smooth, look at that. Perfect round circle with nice hard edges for our Allen. Let me turn that, that off so you can kind of see. Look at that. Nice and perfect. Now you can start with that. If you just want a flat head Allen, that's a good way to go with a circular end. Or, or, or if we want like a kind of a tapered crown circular surface, well, we can do that really easy. Let's go back to edit mode. And let's scale it back. We'll scale it back down to like here. And we'll hit shift scale. Oh, I'm trying to, sorry. Turn edges on so you see that. We'll, we'll come out a little bit. And let's drag it down, kind of get a curve. We know it's going to be a nice curve. And let's uh, scale again. Maybe drag it some more. Just like that. Now we turn on uh, Turbo Smooth. Look at that. Nice crown circular head with sharp edges. Turn that off. And there's your Allen head pull. Just like that. With nice sharp edges. Now, um, you can go ahead and close it off and then add a, a cylinder at the bottom later on and make screw threads. There's plenty of other uh, uh, tutorials to do that, so I won't rehash that. You can go anywhere else to find it. I just wanted to make this tutorial because I really didn't see this anywhere on YouTube, and it's something that people need to do a lot when they're 3D modeling any kind of machines, like you know, a car, motorcycle, or any kind of equipment that use bolts, and you want to get a nice close-up detail. That's the way to do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.